Anu and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you this super trendy oversized uh, cardigan that I absolutely am in love with. I know I say that at the beginning of about every tutorial. Yes, I know I repeat myself, but this is adorable, so cute. Right now with the cold weather outside and it being winter, I feel myself always wanting to wrap myself in uh, softness and in uh, cocooning and um, so I decided to share with you my last creation, which is this cardigan right there. I chose a really nice soft pink, kind of a blush pink, which is also a color that you see a lot this winter. And I chose also to use an adorable stitch that is kind of creating bow ties with crochet and um, create a little bit of a see-through effect. The yarn that I use too is super, super extra, extra fluffy and soft. I will put the information about the yarn I use in the info box down below. The same as for the size of the crochet. You know, how much yarn do you need to finish this project? I also thought it would be really fun to add little ribbons in uh, some of the little bow ties paste just to give it a little extra girly touch and a little extra festive touch but of course that is just optional but I thought it was really cute I will put the, uh, the website where you can find substitution for the yarn I use in this tutorial if you cannot find it in your country because I know that the yarn that we buy here in the United States sometimes is hard to find in other countries so check this website out, I really like it. The stitches are super super easy and that's the magic of crochet with super easy stitches you can create um, some really interesting things like this bow tie uh, stitch. I made my uh, sweater extra large because that's the way I like to wear my sweaters. I don't like when things are too tight to my body. Uh, but of course you can adapt it to your own size. And as usual, I am going to take you through it slowly but surely, one step at a time. I uh, hope you are still enjoying this crochet journey. I hope you had amazing holidays and I hope you had a happy new year too. Um, you enjoyed the New Year's Eve wherever you are in the world. I am not going to lie to you, it has been a tough year for me, 2017, and at the same time it's been an amazing journey with you guys. Uh, I hope that 2018 will be kind to us and that we all will be happy and healthy and fulfilled and surrounded by the people that we love. That is my wish from me to you. If you are not subscribed to my channel, don't hesitate to do so. I would love for you to join my crochet family and yeah, click on the button here, come and uh, follow me on my other social media if you would like to. If you have enough of me, then don't go there. <laughs> Congratulations to the winner of my last giveaway. Um, the winner would have been contacted by me privately already. So yeah, that is um, that giveaway is over, but there will be many more this year. So do not worry. Uh, stay posted. Here is the sweater. Look how airy and fluffy it is. I absolutely love the see-through detail of the bow tie stitch. I love the sleeves too. What do you think? This time I didn't do a flared sleeve as I do uh, usually. I thought I would show you how to create something a little different and those kind of puffed up at the end and then narrow are very much in fashion right now so I thought I would show you how to create that and I think it fits this uh, sweater perfectly. So if you are interested in knowing how to crochet this beautiful winter oversized bow tie cardigan then keep on watching and in the meantime happy crochet! Mwah. Love you! See you next time! Bye! Alright so for this tutorial you will need 12 skins of yarn from the brand Barocco and the yarn is called North Star. The color that I have is uh, it's a pink blush color and it is 3010. 
there is 109 yards so 50 gram in each skin so times 12 that will be a thousand and a hundred gram of yarn was used for this tutorial you will also need two different sizes of crochet hook one is a seven and a half millimeter and one is a eight millimeter I use bamboo crochet hooks for that, which I absolutely love. And you will also need a tapestry needle and some scissors. If you would like to add the ribbons, you will also need a few little ribbons. So we are working on the body of your sweater right now. And that includes in one piece, the back and the two front panels. We're going to work it in one piece until we reach the armhole opening. So here we go. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and make a slip knot. Then you're going to chain 90. Once you have 90 chains, you're going to add two extra chains and in the third chain from your hook, you are going to make a double crochet. And then a double crochet in the next chain and in the next. And you're going to continue like that all along your first row, proceeding by making double crochet all along until you have 90 double crochets in total. Once you have 90 double crochet in total, you chain two and you turn your work around and we will begin the second row. For the second row, we're going to make a front post double crochet and I will show you exactly how to make it. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pass behind the post that you created in the first row. Yarn over and right back behind that post. You will have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and through two of the loops on your crochet hook. And then yarn over and through the two left loops on your crochet hook. Let's do that again. Find the next post from the next double crochet. Yarn over. Pass your crochet hook behind that post, kind of wrapping your crochet hook around the post but from behind. Yarn over and right back. Yarn over and through two loops. Yarn over and through the last two loops on your crochet hook. I will show you once again. You yarn over, you go behind the post, yarn over, back behind the post. You will have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over through two loops on your crochet hook. You still have two loops on your crochet hook left. Yarn over and through the two loops left on your crochet hook. So it is called a front post double crochet because you yarn over, then you go from the front to the back of that post right there. And then picking back around the post to the front, from the back to the front again. Yarn over and oops, yarn over again and oops, and yarn over again. One more time. And here you go. So that's the front post double crochet and that is what you're going to do all along your second row for 90 stitches. Once you reach the end of your second row, this is what the back of your work will look like. You're going to chain two, turn your work around. Now we're going to do a back post double crochet and what it means is that you're going to yarn over and instead of poking around the post from the front to the back you're going to poke it from the back to the front all right so you did your chain two you turn your work around find the next post double crochet post from the row two and you're going to take your crochet hook pass it from the back this time around the post going back around to the back up and then yarn over and back and yarn over and through two loops 
yarn over and through the last two loops. Let's do it again. You yarn over, go from the back of your work, pass it to the front and around the post, going back to the back of your work, yarn over up and back. And over and through two loops and yarn over and through two loops again. One more time, yarn over from the back to the front around the post, yarn over and right back through the stitch until you have three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and through two loops and yarn over and through the two last loops. Your cardigan border will look like that like a ribbed knitted sweater but in crochet. So that's really a trick to make your border look like it is a ribbed and stretchy. And you're continuing like that all along your third row, back post double crochet all along. And when you reach the last stitch, up you do a back post double crochet around the last post of your row. My dog is chewing on a bone if you hear little noises in the background. All right, so we are done with the border. Look how stretchy it is. I love this yarn. It is so soft and really nice to work with. And I forgot how much I love to work with bamboo crochet hooks. So for the fourth row, what you're going to do is chain one, turn your work around, and you're going to go underneath the stitch. So you see the first stitch of your fourth row, pass your crochet hook in that little space underneath the stitch, and single crochet. Here you go, right there in that hole in between the two posts, you're going to single crochet, and in the second stitch, you're going to make two single crochets in the same stitch, just like that. And then you're going to make eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the ninth one, you're going to make two single crochets in the same space. And that is what you're going to do for the rest of your fourth row. Eight single crochets. And in the ninth one, two single crochets in the same space all along your fourth row. And I will meet you at the end of your fourth row. When you reach the stitch before the last stitch, you're going to make two sing single crochets in that space and then a single crochet in your last stitch and you are done with your fourth row. And you will have 101 stitches at the end of your fourth row. There you go. Then you're going to chain one and turn your work around. And you're going to single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch. This time it's a regular single crocheting in the stitch from the previous row. And you're going to single crochet all along that fifth row. That's the front of your work and that's the back. All right, so for your sixth row now, you're going to turn your work around and chain one, and you're going to make a single crochet in the first stitch, and then in the second stitch, you're going to make two single crochets in that same stitch. And then you're going to make nine single crochets, so a single crochet in the next nine stitches.
and two single crochet in the next stitch in that same next stitch and repeat all along your row six single crochet in the next nine stitches and then two single crochets in the ten i will meet you at the end of your row six in the stitch before the last you will do two single crochet in that same stitch and then a single crochet in the last stitch and you are done with your sixth row this is what your work will look like love this color so soft and gentle and at the end of your sixth row you will have 112 stitches all right it is time for row seven and this is the beginning of a bow tie pattern so you are going to switch from the seven and a half millimeter crochet hook to the eight millimeter crochet hook and you're going to turn your work around and chain one and you're going to make a single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three all right so once you have three stitches you are going to chain eight There you go, then you are going to skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and in the eighth, you're going to make a single crochet. There you go. And then you're going to make a single crochet in the next five stitches. So in total, you will have six single crochets. Voila. And then you're going to chain eight again. Skip seven stitches. And in the eighth, make a single crochet. And then make five more single crochets. So you have eight chains separated by six single crochets. So you chain eight, you skip seven stitches, and you make six single crochets. And that's what you are going to do all along row seven. And this is the beginning of your bow tie pattern. All right, so when you reach the end of your row seven, you are going to skip seven stitches and have three single crochets left. One, two, and three. And you're done with your row seven. And then you're going to chain one, turn your work around and make a single crochet in each of the three single crochets from the previous row. And that is your row eight. Then you're going to chain eight. And you're going to skip the chain eight from the previous row and write in that first single crochet from the previous row right here. You're going to make a single crochet and then make a single crochet in the next five stitches. So again you will have six single crochets separated by the chain eight. One chain eight on top of another. Chain eight again, skip the chain eight from the previous row and make six single crochets. And that's what you will do all along your eighth row until you reach the end of your eighth row. And then you will end your eighth row by making three single crochets. And you're done with your eighth row. I'm going to chain one and turn your work around. And here is row nine. And for row nine, it's more of the same. So you're going to make three single crochets at the beginning of your row. 
a single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then chain eight skip the chain eight from the previous row and make your six single crochets and that is what you're going to do all along your row nine making your six single crochets and then chaining eight and skipping the chain from the previous row and when you reach the end of your row nine you're ending with three single crochets you chain one and you turn your work around and for row 10 it's going to be a little different super easy but a little different chain one turn your work around and make a single crochet again in the first three stitches then instead of chaining eight you're going to chain three and you are going to make a single crochet around the chains around the three chains you have created so pass your crochet hook underneath yarn over and back underneath yarn over and through both of the loops on your crochet hook and it's making that single crochet that creates the bow tie effect you see it how cute is that and easy now you're going to chain three again and then simply make your six single crochets on top of the six single crochets from row nine from the previous row because you are on row 10 right now <clears throat> still have my cold by the way i feel like all the country the all us it has a cold right now and i've been having this cold for weeks i can't get rid of it arg all right, and then you're going to chain three again and repeat. Go under the chains, the three chains from the previous rows. So crochet hook through the chains behind, yarn over and yarn over again and through both of the loops on your crochet hook and then chain three. And again, make six single crochets. And that is what you're going to do all along your row 10. And here it is, how cute. I absolutely love that. I'll meet you at the end of your row 10. And at the end of your row 10, you will have nine bow ties. And you end with three single crochets as usual. And now for row 11. Turn your work around, chain one, and make three single crochets. And chain eight. Skip the bow tie from the previous row and make your six single crochets. Super easy, right? And then you continue like that all around your row 11, making eight chains, skipping the bow tie, and making your six single crochets and you repeat row seven to row 11 again and again and again until you have 62 rows in total and that is 14 bow ties one on top of each other and by the way you have in one row let me count so you have nine ties along the width of your sweater and we are working uh, creating the back and the front in one piece until we will reach the 60 seconds row and then we will begin creating the armhole opening so what you're basically creating is one bow tie on top of another one bow tie equals four rows and then uh, once you reach the 60 second row we're going to create the armhole opening. All right. So for row 63, what you're going to do is chain one and single crochet in the first three stitches. Make your chain eight. Skip the bow tie. Make six single crochets.
and then chain eight again and then instead of making six single crochets you're just going to make one single crochet and what we're basically doing is creating the front panel of your cardigan and by creating the front panel at the same time we are going to create the armhole opening so here is your 63rd row of your work but it is the first row of your armhole opening and this is what we are going to count it as it's going to be the row one of the front panel of your cardigan of your oversized cardigan so you are done with the row one you are going to just make one single crochet after the chain eight and you're going to turn your work around so the front panel the front side consists of two bow ties three single crochets a bow tie six single crochet a bow tie but then only one single crochet all right and then for the second row of your front panel you're going to chain one turn your work around of course chain one you're going to make that one single crochet and the single crochet from the row one your previous row and you're going to chain eight creating your bow tie and as usual you are going to make six single crochets and then you are going to chain eight but you are going to end your row a little bit differently we're going to begin to create the V neck that is coming with this cardigan so the cardigan is not going to be all straight at the neck it's going to be a little bit tapering and to do that you're going to make one single crochet and then you're going to decrease turning the two next single crochet into one and you do that by passing your crochet hook to one stitch yarn over and right back through that stitch you have two loops on your crochet hook then go to the next stitch repeat pass your crochet hook to the stitch yarn over and right back through that stitch you have three loops on your crochet hook yarn over and through all the three loops on your crochet hook you just turned two stitches into one and you're done with your second row and for the third one you're going to chain one and you're going to make one single crochet in each of the two stitches and then chain eight and make a single crochet in the next six stitches chain eight again and end your third row with one single crochet in the last stitch and you're done with your third row of your first front panel you're going to chain one and turn your work around and let's do the fourth row and here you can clearly see how you are creating the armhole opening on the side of your front panel all right let's continue chain one make one single crochet in the first stitch chain three it's time to create the bow tie single crochet around those chain three chain three again and make a single crochet in each of the six stitches in between chain three single crochet around the three chains chain three again and make a single crochet in each of the last two stitches you're done with row four chain one turn your work around and let's do the fifth row now and for row five make a single crochet in each of the first two stitches chain eight and 
make a single crochet in each of the six stitches this is going to be the v-neck and now chain eight again and make a single crochet in the last stitch of your fifth row And for row six, chain one, turn your work around and make a single crochet in the first stitch, chain eight. Make a single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Chain eight. And you're going to finish your sixth row by making a single crochet in the two last stitches. And you're done with your sixth row. And now for row seven, chain one and turn your work around. And this is the armhole side. This is the side where your v-neck is going to be. You're working on the v-neck side. And you're going to decrease, you're going to turn the first two single crochets into one. And then you are going to chain eight. You make a single crochet in the next six stitches. chain 8 and make a single crochet in the last stitch and you are done with your seventh row chain 1 turn your work around and let's tackle the eighth row make a single crochet and then chain 3 and a single crochet around the three chains from the previous rows chain 3 And then make one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Chain three, single crochet around the three chains from the previous rows, chain three, and make a single crochet in the last stitch. This is what your work will look like. This is the armhole side and here you can see how it's decreasing and it's creating that diagonal line for the v-neck. And you are going to continue like that without decreasing anymore. So making your chains, one single crochet, eight chains, six single crochet, eight chain and one single crochet for a total of three more rows so row 9 to 11 and I will meet you at row 12 where again I am making a single crochet a chain 3 creating the bow tie single crochet around the chains from the previous rows and then chain 3 again and a single crochet in the first and the second and then turning the third and the fourth stitches into one because I want to decrease a little more but I can decrease from the side anymore or else I won't have anything to anchor the bow ties on the sides of on the side of my work all right so I'm finishing row 12 once I made the five single crochets chain three single crochet around the chains from the previous row chain three and a single crochet in the last single crochet. I'm done with my row 12. And now I'm going to continue for four more rows until the end of row 16 without increasing or decreasing. So I have a single crochet, 
and then I have in between the chain 8, 5 single crochet, chain 8 and single crochet and that would be row 13, 14 and 15 and then for row 16 I would do my bow tie chain 3 single crochet in between um, the 5 single crochets so I will meet you at the end of row 16 and once you have reached row 16, so you have four bow ties one on top of another, you're going to take your scissors and you are going to fasten off. And you are done with one side panel of your cardigan and now time to do exactly the same thing. So you're going to repeat row 1 to row 16 making sure that the outside of your work is your V and the inside of your work is your armhole. And this is what your work should look like when you are done with both of the front side panels. All right, now it's time to sew in all the loose tails at the back of your work. And I will meet you next time for the second part of our oversized bow tie cardigan, where I will show you how to create the back, the shoulder, the sleeves, and the border. So meet you next time for the part two of my tutorial. In the meantime, I hope you are enjoying the beginning of the new year, 2018, and I will see you next week. Love you, bye. As usual, I am going to take you through it. Throw it? I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna crochet it and throw it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, if you are not subscribed to subscribe, so what am I talking about? No one cares. All right, focus on focus. Stay focused. Um, positive attitude. Very important. crochet this beautiful beautiful this beautiful I get the sniffles teen I hope that 2018 oh my gosh I cannot talk 2018 2018 2018 that's a new number n'importe quoi oh my back hurts because of my posture I'm always like that you know like this chin up <laughs>